Some people do the best that they can to avoid the pangs of the narcissist's abuse, while some effortlessly stay afloat and not move a muscle to defend themselves. Who are these people who are neither threatened nor triggered by narcissists? Well, they're the most resilient, composed, and independent Sigma empaths. So, how does this rare breed of humans tame their predators? I'm going to show you how Sigma empaths tame narcissists. Number 10. They stay passive when the narcissist needs their reaction the most. Narcissists want to extract the most dramatic emotions out from empaths because it's how they know that they're dominating them. But who says nothing and acts as if nothing happened, even during the most triggering situations? Who keeps their cool despite being emotionally abused? It's no other than the mentally composed Sigma empath. They do this not because they're literally passive. They do this because they want to let narcissists know that their manipulative attempts can neither shake them nor destroy them. Sigma empaths know what the narcissist wants and it's to see them react and explode. But no, Sigma empaths won't give them that. They want to see how a narcissist squirms in desperation upon realizing they weren't reacting. Narcissists can't stand seeing empaths not being affected by the pain they intentionally inflicted on them. Do you remain passive despite the narcissist's abusive attempts? Number 9. Narcissists can't make them care. The last thing a Sigma empath would ever do is care about what people say and think of them. They feel disgusted with themselves whenever they attempt to conform to others' belief systems, just to blend in and to be liked by their peers. They feel equally annoyed by the same people who also try to distort their perception, just to compel them to do something at their own expense. And because this is what a narcissist exactly does their entire life, they can never make the Sigma empath take the bait. These two individuals belong in a completely different dimension, and it's too risky for narcissists to force feed a Sigma empath with their lies, because they'll end up having their pride crushed and ego torn into pieces. Number 8. They can never be codependents. Because Sigma empaths are extremely independent and can live a day without anyone to talk to, narcissists can't make them dependent. They can't make them want their affection, time, and support because none of what they have is being asked in the first place. Sigma empaths are self-sufficient and there's no reason for them to wait for anyone to provide them something emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. They're the type of people who are fine with not having a permanent home to stay in, one true friend to share their secrets with, and someone to protect them and provide for their daily needs. They're literally fine on their own with no one to disrupt their pace and dictate their speed. Thus, it would be so difficult for narcissists to control their life because none of what they can offer can help allure Sigma empaths. Do you also think it's impossible for you to be a narcissist's codependent? Number 7. They refuse to absorb the narcissist's emotions. Empaths can't help but put themselves in the shoes of people so they can comprehend their perspective and empathize with them better. However, Sigma empaths know who deserves their empathy and who doesn't. And because they can instantly sense the real intentions and hidden motives of a person before they even manifest them in actions, Sigma empaths become hyper vigilant and know the right thing to do. Thus, instead of spoiling narcissists with validation, affection, and words of affirmation, they challenge them and silently mock them. Sigma empaths are merely outside observers who silently ridicule how toxic people react to their environment. Instead of giving what the narcissist wants, Sigma empaths detach themselves from the narcissist and allow them to play dumb. In that way, narcissists are fooling no one but themselves. Number 6. They aren't sources of the narcissist's supply. It's too sad for narcissists when they fall into the deceptive appearance of Sigma empaths. Sigma empaths may look like charming, vulnerable people who could spoil them with validation and approval. But no, narcissists can't extract even a drop of narcissistic supply out from this hard-earned human breed. They can act kind, affectionate, and carefree all day, but it doesn't mean you can get anything from them. 
So, if narcissists ever thought they could earn a Sigma empath submission and dedication by alternating emotional abuse and love bombing, they're a hundred percent wrong. Sigma empaths will know what these master manipulators are trying to get from them, and they're sure about not giving them their dedication at all costs. What would the narcissist do upon realizing they aren't making Sigma empaths give in to their demands? Number 5. They're extremely hard to get. Sigma empaths don't play hard to get because they really are hard to get. They aren't trying to be one nor intentionally building strong walls around them. It's just what they are and they're grateful for it. This is why narcissists can hardly break into their radar and entice them with their lies. The Sigma empath's high standards can invalidate a narcissist's exaggerated accomplishments, identity, and inflated ego. They can determine what's real and what isn't. Thus, there's no way for them to fall into the narcissist's charm. Their standards might only degrade the narcissist's made-up self-value, as they would try to expose them and publicly humiliate them with their brutal honesty. Number 4. They're too busy to entertain nonsense. Sigma empaths are living life at their own pace, and only the deserving can make them pause and earn their attention. And guess what? A narcissist can never pull off that role. Sigma empaths are constantly exploring the world and gathering meaningful insights from their daily experiences. They're endlessly investing their time and resources to learn new things and ways of doing things. They're continuously working on improving their mindset and set of skills so they could use them in the future. And listening to a narcissist's made-up stories and arguing with their irrational statements can never be a part of their hectic schedules. Do you ever wonder why narcissists still have the guts to insert their emotional demands into your busy schedule? Number 3. They refuse to be dictated and controlled. Narcissists play the victim, give ultimatums, and manipulate situations in the hopes of eliciting a certain reaction or response from empaths. But not with Sigma empaths. Their abusers can never make them do what they want them to do. Because as soon as they realize the narcissist is attempting to take charge of the situation, they dismiss them with their door slam. The door slam would mean forever getting rid of them and prohibiting them from entering their inner circle. Because they prioritize their freedom and inner peace, Sigma empaths will also not hesitate to stand firm in their decision and leave the relationship whenever they have to. Number 2. They're neither obsessed nor afraid to lose anyone. Sigma empaths allow people to come and go as they please. They don't easily attach themselves to people, not because they're trying hard not to, but because it's just what they are as a person. This is why narcissists can hardly bribe them with their charm and false persona. They can hardly instill fear in a Sigma empath's mind because they don't have anything to do with anyone. When a narcissist stays, Sigma empaths are fine with it, and if they go, they're fine with it too, and narcissists hate that. They want empaths to run after them, beg them to stay, and shower them with affection. They expect Sigma empaths to cry when they walk away and fall to their knees. But sadly, that's never going to happen. Have you ever begged someone to stay? Number 1. They expose the narcissist's truths. Narcissists who have tried dealing with a Sigma empath might have undergone emotional trauma for years. Sigma empaths will always be the wrong person to mess up with. You wouldn't ever want them mad, because if they are, they will not think twice and expose your insecurities, flaws, and everything you deny in yourself. They will talk about everything you hate to talk about for the sake of bringing your ugly aspects to your consciousness. Some people might be thankful for Sigma empaths for doing them a favor and making them more self-aware. But for narcissists, this experience is traumatic. Sigma empaths will never allow themselves to be slaves of narcissists' demands. They live their lives to the fullest without anyone's permission and approval. This is why narcissists can never dominate them. Do you agree with this? How do you tame narcissists in your own ways?